Hello, I'm Eric from Ion Software and welcome to another Fusion tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show how to build a simple motion graphic like this from scratch using Fusion's tools in 3D and 2D as well. So, let's start with a new composition. Add a text tool and view it on your left view. Type Fusion or whatever suits you best in the styled text box and adjust the text's size like that. Then go to your layout tab and select a background color. In this case I'm going with a saturated orange like so. Then add a 3D image plane. You can either do this using the menus, tools, 3D, image plane 3D or drag it directly from your user customizable toolbar up there. Connect your text here and view it. So the image plane actually converts my text into a, a plane in Fusion's 3D space. The next thing I want to do is I want to actually be able to look through the text. So I want to have the orange background but the text itself should be transparent. So back to my text tool in the shading tab set my text color to black with no alpha and there we are with a hole that's cut in our image plane. Now to get the animation I want I have to actually cut my text into two halves. I do that by adding a crop tool from the transform menu and holding down shift I put it in between the text and the image plane. Let's view the crop and I want to divide my X size by 2 so just divide it by 2 and this gives me the left half of my text and then I need to copy and paste my crop to get the right half and to achieve that I have to introduce an X offset so since 640 is the half of my original size I copy that and paste it as an X offset to get the right side. Now I merge together both image planes simply by connecting the output of the first image plane to the output of the second image plane and view it up here. For now both image planes share the same space. So go to my first image plane, select the 3D and introduce an X offset of O minus 0.5. Then select my second image plane, go to the 3D section and introduce an X offset of positive 0.5, moving it to the right. So that brings us the same result as with one image plane only and without the crops, but we've got now two image planes that can be animated independently. Now I want to cut off that ellipse area here and get rid of that rectangular look. So I select my text tool, add a ellipse mask and let's switch to the second view so we can actually see it and extend the mask's boundaries to the edge of the frame. Or I can simply type 1 in the mask's width. So now for the animation if I go here and modify my image plane's Y rotation, you see that the image plane actually rotates around its center. But I want the center to be on the left side so that I have the impression of a hinge the image plane is attached to. So let's set this back to zero for a moment and open the pivot reveal and move the X pivot to the left. Actually again by negative 0.5. Let's do the same with the right image plane, open the pivot and move that to the right by positive 0.5. So now when I animate this I get the desired motion. Let's set our render range to 150 frames, that should be enough in this case. 
and zoom in a little bit on our time ruler and then animate the image planes Y rotation simply by right clicking here say animate and at frame 0 I want to start with an open door so something like let's say minus 65 degrees and then after 10 frames I want the door to swing close and swing through as well so maybe something like 53 degrees now go to my spline view and select the Y rotation drag select both keyframes right click and say duplicate ping pong so for seven times I want this motion to be repeated the last keyframe obviously shouldn't be minus 65 but rather zero degrees so the door uh, appears to be closed and then I select these keyframes here and go to shape box mode to introduce some dampening to my actual animation like so I exit shape box mode select all keyframes and hit shift s to smooth them out play it back and it looks like this nice so now it's time to animate my second image plane again I open the 3d section right click on Y rotation and select animate but now instead of animating this manually I just go to my timeline open the first image planes track click on rotation right click say copy and on the second image plane right click and say paste so now both image planes share the same rotation but obviously this is not really what we're looking for so let's go to our spline view and concentrate on the second image plane only again I select all points but the last one go to shape box mode and simply invert the animation like so. Exit shape box mode, select all keyframes and go to time stretch mode to just give it a little bit of an offset like so. So now we have our doors swinging in and coming to rest as we want it. Now it's time to introduce a camera. Let's start with selecting a camera pres position that suits for the beginning of the animation, maybe like so, and then simply take a camera from our menu up here, select it and drop it on the view. So Fusion creates the camera on the flow, connects it to my merge and switches the viewport as well to camera. Go back to frame zero open the cameras 3d set right click on the X offset and now instead of selecting animate I select animate translate group which creates a key on X and Y and Z offset I do the same on XYZ rotation right click animate rotate group then on frame 150 uh, I want my camera offset actually to be zero in both X and Y and I don't want to have any more rotation so I set that all to zero but I want the camera to move over a little bit more in terms of Z like so let's play this back and there we have our swinging doors we have a camera zooming back and yeah that's basically the motion I've been looking for so let's add a 3D render just click on the merge click on 3D render at background and this should be white and simply merge the output of the 3d render over the background by connecting the outputs of both tools so there we go with our animation and the last thing you probably like to do to at that final touch is to switch this to high quality to get the look 
we're actually after. That was basically it. Enjoy and have fun.